Am I really ready to say goodbye to you guys? No, I'm not. It hasn't even been 24 hours and I already miss Vlogmas, you guys. I'm like struggling because the 12 days that I committed to were so fun and also a little bit stressful just because editing every single night and all of the things that come with Vlogmas and planning and trying to get things that are interesting for you guys and just like also showing you my genuine life. But I'm just like, am I really ready to say goodbye to you guys? No, I'm not. So you're gonna get a bonus Vlogmas today, which is probably not gonna be like super long because it is already four o'clock here and I just miss you all so much. I was just like, I need to vlog and share with you all what I have going on today. So I'm about to hop in the shower and I am going to do my makeup because I'm headed to an ugly sweater Christmas party tonight with, um, one of my favorite people, her name is Megan. She runs a couple of different of the um, social channels here in Colorado Springs. And one is called Single in the Springs. And so it's a Single in the Springs ugly sweater party. So I am going to get ready for that. I figured, you know, I haven't done any makeup looks with you all yet. So we're going to do that today. And I think it's going to be fun. So I already made myself a drink. So cheers to the holiday season, y'all, and to extra Vlogmas days for you. This has, it has a little bit of vodka, apple cider, and then this hard seltzer that I don't love, which is why I've been like using it to make mixed drinks in. And let me see if I can find what it's called. So it is called The Shell House. And this isn't the pomegranate flavor. It's spiked seltzer water with natural flavors. So it's like half that, a little splash of vodka, and another splash of apple cider. So yum to that. And let's get Vlogmas Day 13 going. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, feeling clean, feeling fresh. I used that native sugar cookie scent. So I feel like I already smell Christmassy. Yes. And I think I'm actually gonna dermaplane before we get started on makeup. And then I will go through my makeup with you all. I also still feel, have a little bit of mascara left on. Oh, that worked out really well. Um, but yeah, we'll dermaplane and do like a simple holiday look. I don't even know if it's gonna be holiday look or if it's just gonna be like my everyday makeup with some red lip. We'll find out. I can't find any of my dermaplaning tools, so we are just going to spritz the face, put on some quick moisturizer, and then get this started. So let me find my spritzer. Where are you? I literally cannot find what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness. Where's the spray? Okay, we're just gonna put water on our face because we can't find any spray. When you don't have your spray, you water. You just gotta rehydrate the skin just like that, basically. And this is that Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. This helps any serums that you're gonna put on your skin to stick to your face. And then I'm gonna be using Tata Harper's Resurfacing Serum today because that's my fave. You all know I love this. This is probably my holy grail product of everything that I use. This is my absolute favorite. It's been my favorite for several years now. So since the face is a little juicy, we are gonna just let that sink into the skin for like a minute. I'm gonna brush my teeth while this sinks in. We're gonna start with the brows first. And today I am using Anastasia's Brow Pomade. I really want to go for more of a dramatic laminated brow look. So this is what the little pot looks like. And we're just gonna dip our spoolie in and apply it generously to the brow. And then we brush them up. I then come back down here on that side. And I actually feel like I still need a little more pomade in the front part right here because it didn't feel like when I went through with the spoolie that it did anything so just a little extra Ooh, she's a vibe y'all she's a vibe I'm a 
eyebrows came to play. On to the next. I really don't know how this became a trend of like the laminated brow look, but I actually really kind of like it. Like, it's definitely not an everyday look for me, but I do really enjoy how they make my brows look so full. So see, obviously you can tell one brow is like a little bit kind of tamed down, one everything is kind of just sticking up right now. And we're gonna go right back in and reshape based on our preferences. I really, really love how that looks. And then it takes like a minute or two for those to dry. We are gonna use, I'm hoping this is not too dark for my skin. This is Kosas Tinted Face Oil in the shade seven. So let's see. Oh, perfect. It looks like it's gonna match perfectly. This is very, very much so like a light coverage situation. So it's not going to be full coverage. If you're a person who is trying to cover up a lot of blemishes, this is probably not gonna be right for you. Also, if you are a person who has oily skin, this might not be right for you, but it might work for you in winter because it is a highly moisturizing foundation. It feels more like a tinted moisturizer than it does like a foundation. Come down the chin, get our little baby forehead we got working going on here. I have like a two head, not even a forehead. It gives you just such a nice glowy, like just kind of evening skin tone kind of look. And then as it sets, it just, just sinks in and it doesn't look quite as dewy. So it'll look better in a minute or two. This is Kosas' concealer. I love this consistency, this texture of it. I love the application. This is in the shade 6.8. And I'm gonna do just like that. Like so, like that. Oh my gosh, I need to stop watching TikTok. And I bring this into the tear duct and then also down like the side of my nose because I tend to have more of a rosy colored nose. So just to even it out and brighten it up, I come down like, like that. I don't really do much contouring ever. I just feel like, I don't know, I've never really been super big into makeup, but I do like to look, you know, cute and fresh when I'm gonna go out. <laughs> this is a lot of Kosas that I'm finding. Kosas is one of my all time favorite brands. This is their Color and Light Press Palette, the High Intensity in Contra Chroma. I love these colors so, so much. And we're just gonna start with our blush from up at this part of the cheek and work it in. Cause I don't like it to be too concentrated here. I really like it to be like more snatched. So I find that if I start kind of up by my hairline and then work my way down, it just creates a more like even look for me versus starting here and then working my way up. So that's what the blush looks like. Yeah, see how that just like warms up your face? It's a very like natural warmth. And I feel like if you have a kind of more, I guess I have like a caramel macchiato color skin tone, um, this might work for you. And then I just like dust whatever residual is left on my nose. I don't use a special brush for the, what it would be like the highlighting side. I just like use like the very edge of my same brush and just kind of stroke it on the top of my cheekbone, just like that. So basically all I would do now, if I were just going like on a normal day, like or going out, not for a holiday look, which I think the holiday look really is gonna just include a red lip. I would just put lip gloss on and mascara and be done. But because we're going to an ugly sweater Christmas party, I'm gonna do a red lip and I might even do a little bit of eyeshadow, we'll see. This is a Bite Beauty lip pencil in 034 is the color. I don't really overline, just enough to give me a little bit of like definition. So, lips aligned. And this is another Bite Beauty color. It's really pretty, almost like a maroon color. 
in the color Tanin, T-A-N-N-I-N. This doesn't feel as Christmassy red as I was hoping for. It does feel a little more like a muted red. So we might have to go back and find a different red because I don't know if I love this for tonight. Okay, we're gonna try to brighten this with just some lip gloss. This is Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the color Jaws, which honestly, I would just use this instead of the lip because I typically just go for, like I said, more of a lip gloss color anyways. Okay, that looks a little brighter. I kind of like that. I feel, I'm feeling that. And now for mascara. I am using Ilia Volumizing. I think this is called Limitless Lash. I was going to put on eyeshadow, but right. let's take the hair down. Let's see if it's necessary. I've been doing a side part this week and I don't like it. <laughs> I miss my middle part. I feel like the red lip already is like so much that I don't really need to do much with my eyes, but I also feel like it's a Christmas party, so I should put more sparkle on. Let's like try to dab just a little bit of Ilia liquid powder. This is in chroma a chromatic eye tint in the color Hatch. On my lid, <laughs> go in and lightly dab it. And then I need to add a little bit of oil to my hair. I've been using this oil and I really like it. The only thing I don't love is that it's kind of hard to get out of the bottle. I'm just gonna give my hair a little bit of extra shine. I think this is the final look, y'all. What do you think? Do we like it? Does this feel holiday-y? Probably not, but. I really, really love the look. This is way more makeup than I would typically wear anyways, and I think it's gonna be fun. Now let's go get dressed. So this is the ugly sweater that I told you all that I found at Old Navy. This is in a size 2X. Ah, oh, they left the sensor tag on. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go get ready super quick and see if they can take this off then because that's a bummer. I'm trying to debate whether I wanna wear this with some type of skirt or dress. I feel like this, these colors don't go well together. But I could do it with that skirt that I just showed you all. This gray bodycon dress with it. Or we could go a little bit more va va boom and do the black dress with it. I'm not sure if any of these are going to work or if I'm going to end up doing jeans. But this is the top. <laughs> They're actually blue. They're looking like they're black on camera. A pair of jeans. My ugly sweater. I would probably never wear this in real life. And then these shoes are sparkly. This is the outfit for me. They're so cute, right? Just because I decided to do this last minute, I'm running late. So cheers, y'all. I'll try to show you a little bit when I get there. Sleigh bells ring. 